Hi, everyone, and welcome uh, to this recording of a Hangout that we previously conducted but had some technical difficulties. So we are re-recording it and providing it to you in its entirety. Uh, the title of today's Hangout is uh, How to Get Individuals and Students with Print Disabilities Reading with Bookshare and Google Chrome. And what we'll be doing today is highlighting uh, a lot of the work that we've been doing with uh, Chrome and uh, one of the newer uh, tools that we launched at the beginning of the year called Bookshare Web Reader. Uh, so that said, let me do a quick introduction myself. Uh, my name is Mario Oliveros, and I am a senior manager here at Bookshare. Um, we are a project of a larger technology nonprofit called Betatech, and we're located in Palo Alto, California. Uh, so with that, I'm going to uh, jump into the screen share. and uh, show you uh, some of the slides that we'll go through today. So in terms of what we'll cover, um, we'll go over a, a very brief overview of what Bookshare is for um, any viewers who are not familiar with uh, what we are and what we do and who we serve. Uh, but then we'll focus uh, the majority of uh, the Hangout uh, on the work that we're doing with Chrome. Uh, we'll do a demonstration and talk about uh, our newest reading tool called Bookshare Web Reader. Um, we'll also do a demonstration and talk about um, other great features that work really well with Bookshare Web Reader and make uh, getting access to our content and reading our books uh, that much easier for our members. And then what we'll do is leave you with uh, just some tips um, for both educators and parents uh, to keep your students and kids uh, reading this summer. So with that, let's um, go into a brief overview of what Bookshare is. So uh, we are an online library of accessible ebooks for people with print disabilities. Uh, it's a really sizable uh, collection with over 190,000 titles. Uh, and that collection grows literally every day. We add thousands of books um, every month. Um, and uh, it's uh, a diverse collection uh, that will be of interest to every age and interest of reader, from very young children to adults, uh, books for school, work, and reading pleasure, uh, even including newspapers and magazines. And what I'd encourage you to do is to go to the Bookshare website at www.bookshare.org, and you don't need to be a member, but you can uh, search and browse the collection and get a sense of what's in there. As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, Bookshare is um, a library for people with print disabilities, so you need to qualify in order uh, to use Bookshare services. And in the next slide, what I'll do is it just go over a brief overview of uh, who qualifies. Um, and if you qualify and you are a U.S. student, um, you get the great benefit of uh, getting a free membership through an award that we got through the Office of Special Education Programs at the Department of Education. Um, and there are two ways to join Bookshare. Um, we have individual memberships um, for students and adults. And this will give you a login and password uh, that will allow you to get into the Bookshare website, download your own books, and read with your reading tools all independently. We also have organizational memberships, which are essentially group memberships that allow um, teachers um, or librarians at a school to set up a group account. Um, they add students to a group roster, um, and they uh, download and manage the, the account on behalf of students. So those are the two ways to join Bookshare. And finally, for all our members, we provide free reading tools. And of course, today our focus is, is talking about um, our newest tool, Bookshare Web Reader. Now let's talk about eligibility. Um, in order to join Bookshare, you need to qualify with a print disability that falls into three main areas. These include visual impairments, so if you're blind or low vision, um, physical disabilities, uh, for example, uh, cerebral palsy, or any other physical disability that um, prevents you from uh, holding a book, turning pages, um, turning your head, um, and other mobility issues like that. Um, as well as severe learning and reading disabilities like dyslexia, 
that make uh, reading traditional print materials either very, very difficult or um, nearly impossible. And uh, when you join Bookshare, you will be required to provide a proof of disability uh, that must be signed by a competent authority. And so if you have further questions about eligibility and who can join, what I encourage you to do is to go to the Bookshare website and under the membership section we have detailed content and questions and FAQs um, that will provide you with greater detail. You can also reach our membership team uh, through the Bookshare website um, if you have specific questions. So uh, with that, what I want to do is transition to talking about the work that we've been doing uh, with, with Google Chrome. And as always, our goal is always to provide easy to use technologies and ebook readers for our members. And uh, some of the feedback we've been getting is that it would be really great to be able to read books directly from um, a member's internet browser. Uh, some people like to call this reading in the cloud. Um, and with Google Chrome, um, it has some really great built-in accessibility features um, that we became aware of and we took advantage of when building uh, the Bookshare Web Reader tool. So what Bookshare Web Reader is, is a web-based reader that allows you to read um, from multiple uh, internet browsers. Uh, the one we're going to focus on today is Google Chrome. Um, and there are a couple of really key and great benefits to that. Um, number one, you don't need to download book files anymore and save them to um, a folder or somewhere on your device uh, and you don't need to uh, find them later to open them. Uh, this all happens uh, behind the scenes uh, all within your internet browser. Um, you also don't need to install any specialized reading tools or applications. Uh, these will all work uh, directly within, a Bookshare Web Reader will work within your internet browser and it will use um, the technologies already built into your computer. Uh, the one thing to note is that uh, Bookshare Web Reader must be used by individual members only. Um, educators or people on a uh, organizational membership uh, cannot uh, use use Bookshare Web Reader, you need to be an individual member. Uh, so one thing we do encourage is that um, uh, for organizations and schools that are uh, listening, uh, you have the ability to uh, sign up your uh, members for individual access at home and we uh, greatly recommend that. Um, in terms of using uh, Bookshare Web Reader, it's very easy. There is a new Read Now link that you will notice in the uh, in, uh, when you find a book and I'll demo that in in just a second. And um, again, uh, just to talk about Google Chrome's accessibility, um, what it allows uh, you to do is to listen to books being read aloud, um, but it also provides uh, word level highlighting um, that's synchronized at, uh, with, with the reading of the book. Um, and we'll do a demo of that as well. Um, and the last thing I'll just mention is that uh, Bookshare Web Reader can also be used with other browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari. Um, and you'll be able to listen to books, but uh, they don't have uh, the ability to provide you with the word level highlighting. So with that, let's go into a, a quick demonstration. So here I am at the Bookshare website. I'm logged in. What I'm going to do is search for a book. I'll choose Charlotte's Web. And so here are my search results. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I'll go into the book details. And as always, I see the title, the author. I can download the book in different formats. But what's new is this Read Now link that I'm circling. What I'm going to do is select that. And the book is loading directly within the browser. Um, and now what you see is the text of the book right there. Um, let me just, uh, well, actually, let me, I'm just going to press play to show you um, how quick and easy it is to, to get the book going. So bear with me as I pull out the microphone. I don't see why he needs an app. Continued Fern, who was only eight. Well, said her mother, one of the kids is a rat. It's very small and weak, and it will never amount to anything. 
So as you can see, uh, that was a very easy process. All I need to do is uh, select Read Now. The book opened up, and I selected the Play button, and the book got going. Now, in addition to that, um, there are a number of other features here that allow you to customize and uh, move around the book. So if I go to s Options, um, there are a number of things that I can do. I can change the font size. Uh, so what I'm going to do for this demo is I'm going to reduce it a little bit to 18 points. I'm going to change the background to black and white. And uh, in terms of the speech rate, that was a little bit fast. So what I'm going to do is slow it down a bit and hit save. So as you can see, the uh, font size has changed. Now let me select play. Well, said her mother, one of the pits is a rut. It's very small and weak, and it will never amount to anything. So it's, uh, it's a lot um, uh, slower. So in addition to that, you can also take advantage of navigation elements within the book. If I go to table of contents, what you see is that um, it, it has chapters, and uh, if the book were to have uh, subchapters and other levels, they would also be presented here. In addition, you can also jump by page uh, within the book. So uh, for larger books, or if you're using textbooks, um, this is a really great feature to have uh, this navigation. So uh, let me go back to the slides, and um, the next thing I want to talk about is another great feature that we launched at around the same time as a Bookshare Web Reader, and that's Bookshelf. Um, uh, using these two tools um, really just makes using uh, Bookshare that much easier for our members. And so what Bookshelf is, is a virtual bookshelf that allows educators and students to save their books um, uh, on our servers or in the cloud. Um, you don't need to put them uh, on your devices or onto your, on your computers. Um, and this is just a really great way to get organized. Uh, you can access uh, your bookshelves anywhere you have internet, um, and uh, it just saves a lot of time and, and hassle. Um, the other really great thing about um, Bookshelf is that uh, educators can share these for, with students. So if you can imagine doing the school year, um, you want to collect and organize all the books that your students need, uh, including NIMAC textbooks. Um, you can put them on a bookshelf, share them with students, and they, as long as they have an individual membership, can log in uh, with their own account and do their own downloading. So you don't need to do that for them anymore. Um, so uh, that's a really great benefit, and um, this also points to another really good reason uh, for any schools that have members to also uh, get their uh, students' individual memberships and access uh, on their own at home. So with that, I'm going to do a quick demo of how this works. I'm going to go back to the Bookshare website. Um, I'm going to log out as myself. And I'm going to log in as a teacher. Great. And so uh, there is a My Bookshelves link in the taskbar. And um, I've already actually created a Summer Reading 2013 uh, bookshelf. So what I'm going to do is go in there. And I already have a book added there. Um, what, I'm going to, what I want to show you is how to share these with members. Uh, under the membership, uh, Members tab, you have the ability to add members, which I'm going to do. And there are two students here who are not uh, yet, who don't have access yet to this bookshelf. So I'm going to select Adam Low. And so he's now added um, as someone who can receive access uh, to this Summer Reading 2013 bookshelf. Um, the next thing I want to do is add books to the bookshelf. So I'm going to search for a book. In this case, let's look at Black Beauty. Here are my search results, and um, I see a number uh, of versions. I want the Anna Sewell uh, version, 
and uh, towards the right there are a number of actions that I can do. I can download the book or I can add them to a bookshelf. Uh, I'm going to select add to a bookshelf and what I'm presented with is a drop down of all the bookshelves that I have. I see Summer Reading 2013 and I want to add it to that. So the book is added, and um, as an educator, that's all I need to do. So uh, fast forward, um, I'm the teacher. I let my student know that um, the book has been shared. So I'm going to log in as a student. Great, so I'm now logged in and I'm going to go to my bookshelves and I see the bookshelf that was shared with me by my teacher called Summer Reading 2013 and there I see Black Beauty, the book that uh, my teacher told me to read so I'm just going to select read now. And so uh, the book is now packaging, and that might take a minute or two. And there we have it. Uh, Bookshare Web Reader is opened up right in my browser uh, with a book that was shared to me uh, by my teacher through a bookshelf. So uh, that pretty much encompasses the demos that I wanted to do uh, for the two tools. Uh, the, the big picture there is that um, these are just really fast and easy ways, um, faster and easier ways to get access to our books. So I just want to leave you now with uh, just a couple tips for the summer as uh, both educators and our parents are transitioning from the school year. Um, here are some tips to uh, help you keep your child and uh, students uh, reading the summer. Uh, first, as I mentioned, um, there are really great benefits to getting an individual membership. Um, you'll need it to use Bookshare Web Reader, and you'll also need it to be able to access any shared um, bookshelves. So if you haven't signed up your students for that yet, um, we definitely encourage you to do that. And we have a number of trainings uh, in our training section under help on our website that can provide you with some quick guides and um, tutorials uh, on how to do that easily. Um, we also want to encourage you to uh, get your students and keep them reading this summer and to look out uh, in early June for an announcement of our annual Bookshare Summer Contest, which is always a really great and rewarding event for our members. And we all always have um, a big body of uh, participation, so I encourage you guys to do that. Um, and then start creating book lists and saving them uh, to a, a bookshelf. Uh, we've got a really great special collections uh, with a number of children's books, so um, we encourage you to look at those uh, and just start to compile a list for your students or for your child uh, so that uh, they have books ready to read uh, once summer starts and throughout uh, uh, summer vacation. And for educators, if you do uh, create book share, bo uh, bookshelves, share them with your students as I demonstrated uh, and let them read with Bookshare Web Reader. Uh, so with that we just want to say thank you. Um, we have a bunch of information that's available through the Bookshare website um, and uh, we have those presented here. We'll also post them uh, in the comments section related to this webinar um, and uh, you'll be able to uh, get in contact with us with any questions uh, after this hangout. So let me just jump back on the screen share. Um, so back to me. Uh, thank you all for attending. Hopefully uh, this was helpful. Uh, we'll also provide a um, survey for you to provide any feedback that you have on the broadcast. Thanks very much.